Hello and welcome to Ubuntu ViewCast. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install DenyHost. Uh, DenyHost is a really uh, useful program that basically will help you to secure your server on the internet if you're using SSH. If you notice when you're running a server on the internet and have SSH port open, that you will have a lot of login attempts to break into your uh, server on the internet and deny host is basically monitoring that service sees if there's any brute force login attempts and then uh, basically it will capture the IP address from the um, host that is trying to break into your system and put them on a block list deny host is uh, using the files uh, etc uh, in, in under the etc directory um, called host.allow and host.deny and basically everything that is allowed will never be denied and everything that's denied will never get access to your um, SSH enabled host. So um, I already installed that here and I'll just show you the command you have to issue to get it installed. Just type in sudo apt-get install and deny hosts this part of the um, common Ubuntu repositories you should just hit enter here and then it will be installed and then after it's installed the first file we have to uh, edit is um, let's just do it right here under etc as the hosts allow file you have to add your particular um, IP address in there you know if you um, for example, you're managing a web server um, that's on, in a DMZ or on the internet. You add your uh, company's subnet, or if you have just one IP address, add this IP address in there, and then you always will be allowed to SSH into that particular machine. All right, let's get out of here. And then the next file we have to edit is the deny host configuration file. And then the only thing you have to change here for the for the beginning is add just your email address in here. So scroll further down. Everything else in this file works uh, with default settings very well. And I will show you in a little bit what I mean. So the first thing you have to uh, change is your admin email. Add your personal email address in there or the email address you want to receive those uh, reports from the net host. Then the next one is the SMTP host and SMTP port. At um, your uh, email server, your desired email server in here, if if you want to use the, the local machine for sending out the email, just keep the way it is, you know, just local host and port 25. And if you want to use a different email server, change those values right there. Then the next one, if your email server requires a login for sending out emails, um, uncomment those two lines and enter the username and password in here. And then the last line is the SMTP from um, line. Just enter the uh, sender name slash email address in there, how it should be, um, how it should appear in your uh, email inbox. In my case, I chose to die host and uh, the root account on that particular machine so and that's about it and uh, that's all you have to change so let's get out of here then the next thing you have to do is to basically restart that service by entering this following line and hit enter so the service will be stopped and started again and then um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, deny host uses the host.allow and host.deny file. Um, the host.deny file will be used to uh, add all those um, IP addresses from the individuals that try to hack into your system. So let's have a quick look in here. Um, on my 
system I poked a hole through the firewall just to see how that uh, actually works so let's have a look in the close the dying file and you see here there were several um, logging attempts over the SSH um, port here from those um, IP addresses that are appear in this file um, yeah that's about it and I hope you like that video I hope it gets you started with uh, securing your um, SSH enabled server and if you like that video um, or like to uh, post some criticism or say thank you or whatever you like just go to my website www.ubuntubucast.com or to on my YouTube channel thank you for thank, thank you very much for watching and see you next time